Yeah, feeling good. Um, obviously, looking forward to getting back back at home. It's brilliant to, to play there, especially with uh, the stadium and, and what's happened to it over the recent months. And it's nice to play in front of uh, in four stands. It, it looks proper smart down there now. So we're looking forward to off to you know probably a disappointing point in the end how the game went at Yeovil. So looking forward to you know improving our home form and and, and keeping the wins coming at home. And what were the feelings on the coach back after that Yeovil game? Do you really think you dropped two points? Maybe? Yeah, a bit good. Like what going in at one 0 half time, especially away from home, you know, so tough to sort of gift them back in at two goals was was a bit rubbish for us. So, but credit to the way we finished last 20 minutes. We were the team in the ascendancy and. Um, Probably could have nicked it in the end. H don't know how the, their player got it off the line for H's strike at the end. It was unbelievable. So, no, we're, we're, we're confident. The lads have had a good week's training. Um, had a couple of days off and it's nice to nice to be relaxed and, and, and come into the weekend, you know, and gain a bit of momentum. And it is Swindon on Saturday. What do you make of them? Yeah, they're a good side, obviously, with a good, good manager as well. He's got, you know, good experience with the, at this level and above. So, he's going to, you know, set his team up right and... It's down to us, to, you know, to to focus on on what what parts to play on, and and hopefully that goes that goes well Saturday. But you know they're a big team in our league with big aspirations for the season, and and we're in amongst that as well. Um, we're second in the league now, and got to push. Hopefully, our, we've got to look above at Lincoln and hopefully push them. And then, of course, we're looking to take points off City to climb further up the table. It should be a good game, shouldn't it? Yeah, it will be a good game. It was a good game here last year. You know, we came out winners, but it was it was a good game of football. Both teams wanting to play and. I think we scored a brilliant goal that game, you know, with the um, the amount of passes we got. But it's you know it's up to us to to continue our good form and and be the team in on on the front foot and and you know try and excite the fans. And eight goals for you so far this season. Are you pleased with that so far? Yeah, yeah, it's been a good start. It's um you know it's early days on in the season. Yeah, it's not many games, not many games have gone, but I'm happy with that return so far. I can only put away you know the chances that, that people are creating and then I've had a lot of chances I could have I could have had even more this season the, the balls that have been put in for me so if hopefully they can keep on coming in the uh, and the boys can uh, and keep on producing brilliant attacking play like we are and then keep things short at the back um, but I'm really confident and I'm just enjoying my time so much here at the moment you enjoy playing with the likes of Nicky and Hiram because they'll put it on a plate for you. Yeah, they're brilliant. They're, they're so creative, and it, whether it's in training or here, you just got to be in the right areas on the pitch and and just um, you know rely on that to come in because you can't sort of go looking for the ball coming out of your area. And it's good there because I've got so much faith in them and trust in them that they're going to find me. And and uh, I've just got to keep putting it in and trying to make them look good. Uh, the stats been flying around this week that you're the highest goal scorer in 2018 for the top four tiers yeah. in the league. You must be pleased with that. Some yeah. Good names up there. Not sure how many Harry Kane would get in League Two. I think maybe triple figures. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> it's, uh, I, I, one of my pals sent it to me the other day. Actually, it's quite it's quite funny, isn't it, to see. I'm happy with um, I'm happy with that at the moment and. To not be on pens and be up there as well, I'm happy with this. Uh, will you use that as a motivation to continue? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's it'd be it'd be cool to finish the, se- the end of the year like that. That'd be a nice thing to to look back on in in your career. But long way to go. Yeah, Harry Kane or Salah could score about 40 goals towards the end of this season. So I suppose the pressure has eased off you slightly with Jono coming in this yeah. season. What what is it like to play alongside? No, he's really good. Some of the runs he makes is perfect. He sort of um, takes a defender with him and, it, and he frees me up. So it's. It's um it's brilliant to have in there the experience he's got. You can just see he's a great little finisher. He's the way he goes across the front post, and he's a big guy as well and can shift. I just wish that I could shift as fast as him. I don't know what what's in my genes, but my my dad was the slowest person in the world, so I think I've caught that from him. And and uh, I wish I could. I wish I had an ounce of pace like him. That'd be lovely. It's great to play with him. He um he's just clever the way he runs. So you know that you have to put it into an area, and he's already on his way there.